Hey, this is a response to uh, the video called Exterminate White People. It's got a few things to say. I hope I don't say it. I don't want to talk too long here, but first of all, that's a very uh, out of line statement. I, mean, I listened to what he said, and yes, I'm sure he was trying to you try to tell me that he was frustrated with the white racist power structure whites are ruling and are discriminated against us you know what doesn't matter I mean the bottom line is that he made a racist statement and it is a racist statement and he's he does have some type of power and he does belong to an institution is he let's say is he uh, a person that can decide who can become a professor or is he doing the hiring process can he decide to no at all does he run the banking industry does he run the presidency is he a governor no but he had he is somebody that has a certain he's a public figure that is that is a saying words that is that inspires some people whether it inspires hate or dislike I would say so I would say at least dislike I'm not gonna say that you he, he hates white people but he extremely has resentment toward them um, and he's going to probably justify well I can use history to show you uh, that you know I have a reason to have the want these people exterminated. The bottom line is, I'm not going to argue history. I'm going to argue that you cannot. The way that you portray white people, yes, white people have made mistakes. Uh, yes, there's institutional racism, but the way that you portray white people is that they are like below subhuman, and even even the most you know race conscious intentional theoretical racists aren't like that okay it's okay to disagree and have problems with uh, institutional racism and its subconscious uh, intentions because I do believe that institutional racism is primarily uh, or at least half of it is a subconscious mechanism within everybody uh, and yes, obviously, uh, the images and the attitudes greater and severely impact black people more on more levels, okay? But you're not going to do yourself any good by demonizing the, the white race as, you know, some, you know, some race that is just trying to do everything in their power to to destroy you or they're out to get you yes they do have stereotypes of blacks yes in general men's whites have a subconscious I believe a subconscious attitude towards blacks and do favor their race like in some areas that blacks have the same subconscious favor of their race you know and yes these adverse you know these adverse mentalities uh, do create a certain amount of oppression or psychological oppression toward black people. Okay, and I mean all black people, even the African immigrants. <laughs> okay, but people who support this, I'll tell you what, you're just a, you have a very very um, skewed and distorted uh, view of reality to a point. Yes, even, I would say, even back in the slavery days, you know, this projection of white people that you're, you know, this, this statement comes from is not accurate, okay? It's one thing to disagree and to fundamentally argue, uh, you know, white racism, so-called white racism, uh, but there's another thing that if you know, I guess your attitude and how you see your enemy, so-called enemy, 
is very warped. Um, I don't believe in the conspiracy racist theory. I don't believe that white people are so, you know, 5% of white people are trying to do everything they can to oppress 12% um, of the population. It wouldn't make any sense for them not, for them to purposely want you not to secede when, in fact, black or white crime <laughs> uh, is the evidence of that. And I'll get to that some, you know, later on, but it just doesn't make any sense for you saying that stuff. That is a racist statement, and you're just motivating, you know, you're justifying to white supremacists, in theory, conscious white supremacists, to justify their ideology. So, I'll just, I think I said enough for now, so, have a nice day.